And uh, Thomas Gierst, uh, who started speaking in the very beginning, has really been a wonderful friend. And uh, Thomas has always enjoyed Duchamp's work and all that God is. And he's really a person of passion when it, uh, when it comes to art. And of course, Thomas uh, works with uh, BMW in Munich and is in charge of uh, uh, the art car program. And I always enjoyed the art cars. Uh, I was always thrilled by them. You know, I always loved the Warhol car and Roy Lichtenstein's car. So fantastic, the sun on one side and the landscape and the colder. So I always wanted to participate in that tradition. So when I received a call from uh, Thomas, and Thomas told me that uh, BMW would uh, enjoy if I would uh, design an art car, I was thrilled. And, you know, as an artist, you just want to participate. So to be involved with this kind of uh, historic lineage of artists from Calder, uh, working with the cars, through the, the vast number of artists, this is number 17 of the, uh, the art cars. And to date, this is the last art car. I, myself, as an artist, I'm really thrilled and looking forward to the next art car. And uh, when that will happen, I don't know, Thomas maybe doesn't know himself, but eventually there'll be another art car. The, uh, the inspiration for the art car, uh, for me, uh, was, uh, you know, I, I went to Munich and I, made, I met with the head designer, with uh, Adrian uh, uh, Van Hodick, and, uh, no, uh, Hodunk. And uh, Adrian's fantastic. And you know, I went through uh, the, uh, the BMW uh, plant and we spoke about all the designs, all the tensions of the car. And so I went back to my studio and I started plan A and plan B. And plan A ended up not working because it added too much weight to the car. So I ended up going with plan B and I'm thrilled that I went with uh, plan B. It's uh, really part of the tradition of razzle dazzle and how they used to camouflage uh, airplanes and boats, especially uh, uh, boats in World War I, World War II. And so it was a camouflage not to necessarily hide, but to confuse. And I used the razzle-dazzle tradition to emphasize the energy of the car. I was inspired by Christmas lights, and we're around that season right now. And uh, from a photograph I saw of Christmas lights, a wreath, where all of a sudden the images zoomed back, so it created these trails and of this energy. And I thought that was a good starting point for me. And I looked at all different forms of energy, sunbursts and uh, blasts, everything uh, to put into the car and to try to emphasize the energy uh, in the car. Uh, the car raced, I was there with my family. It was one of the most wonderful moments of our lives. Uh, my children and my wife, we were really uh, thrilled to be there. And so and that was a kind of an exciting moment. So I'm really not going to go on so much uh, talking anymore. Uh, Carolina uh, Karkova, Carolina Karkova, I always get a little nervous in pronouncing that name. But uh, she's really going to do uh, the pleasure of unveiling the car. And I think she would do a much more sensual job than myself. So Carolina, please. Uh,